This is Dave Rodecker. I'm going to be talking about how to identify the devices connected to ports in MicroTeq. We recently just did a uh, maintenance where we replaced uh, devices, another whole server uh, MicroTeq router port with, uh, and we moved all the ports from one, ser one switch to there. And unfortunately those ports, it looks pretty ugly. Um, <clears throat> none of the items are labeled. So we didn't know what got connected to which port. So I'm going to go ahead and sh uh, we are going to go back and have that labeled. But in the meantime, I want to have our MicroTeq with labels. And I went ahead and started to do that. Uh, as you can see, these MicroTeq is the router board 1100. It's got 13 ports. The first eight, I went ahead and found out the device connected to it. And in doing so, I put a comment uh, to identify it. So you just put a comment and now I know. So I want to be able to do that and show uh, when I got through this far, I realized that the last three, I wanted to have my technician learn how to do this and other one, anyone else that might be interested. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and show what it is for, uh, how this is done for uh, maybe this last port here. So as you can see, everything's kind of getting traffic to it. They're all on one, one, uh, uh, bridge. So uh, when I um, torch, I'm going to use the torch tool and you notice that it's just getting a bunch of broadcast information from all of the people on the bridge. Uh, things come and go very quickly. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the entry timeout so it's one minute. <clears throat> and then uh, a lot of stuff is coming in. So how do I figure out what item, what I'm going to do is find out the one item that coming into the port. So the way to do that is uh, you can sort on any of these columns. We want to sort it on the RX rate column. And as soon as we see something come in here, I'm going to click it. So I just did that. So the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop. And if I scroll down, I'll see that it's uh, this particular source IP address. I can actually double click that and I can see the IP here. Uh, note that uh, now I've made it so that this filters for that traffic. But now that I know the IP address, I can go ahead and look that up in my management software um, or my management um, uh, router, which also has DHCP address and it has that particular one. I can find the re device there and get the particular name. Then I went back and simply put a comment to that record with the name. So now I have that one item identified and I can identify the rest of them or all of them as well as make it easier to label the, the devices with physically um, putting the, uh, the wires with labels. So uh, hopefully your environment isn't as dirty as ours but uh, we'll get it cleaned up and good luck in using the torch tool to identify your devices.